Peru, in this episode we will explore Caracas and the National Reserve around it. We also chilled on the beach and headed to the Balas de las Islands for some penguin spotting. Are you ready to come with us? Let's go! From Ica, the only bus option is Cruz del Sur. Usually more expensive than others, it was nice to have a little luxury. Arriving in Paracas, it's about a 10-15 minute walk to the main town. There's a small beachfront with bars and restaurants behind. Hey guys, what's up? You want an ice cream? We hadn't been to the coast for a while, so we had to get an ice cream before we signed up for a boat trip to the Ballastellas Islands. So after the classic crew system of a little bit of chaos, we got our tickets checked and we're about to get on the boat to go to the Ballastellas Islands. We headed out to the islands, passing boats fishing in the morning. As we passed the land edge of the Paracas National Reserve, we saw a carving known as the Candle. Years of dry weather means this mysterious site still remains today. When visiting Peru, penguins are probably not something that spring to mind. However, just a short boat ride from Caracas, you can see Humboldt penguins and more on these rocky islands. I would definitely recommend getting the early boat to get the best glimpses of pelicans, birds diving and even sea lions. Nothing really grows on the islands, so the penguins and birds dive for fish. We circled around the islands, spotting many more birds and penguins hanging out on the rocks before we witnessed an amazing nature moment. Baby. He's like, you can do it, you can do it. Come on, little baby. She's like, come on, you can do it. Get your ass up. <laughs> You go, little one. <laughs> hey, give him a break. <laughs> After feeling like we'd just been in a David Attenborough documentary, we saw some more sea lions before returning to Caracas. We've just done our morning tour. We've seen sea lions, we've seen penguins, we've seen loads of birds, and now we're about to explore the desert. So it's the National Reserve of Caracas. We're not too sure what it includes, but it should include some beach views, some beaches, and some sand. And some cliffs. Maybe. Our minibus took us out into the Paracas National Reserve and stopped off at some scenic locations. Paracas means sand falling like rain in Quechua, which is an indigenous language of Peru. It's easy to see why, with red and brown and golden rocks mixed together with year-round sun. We stopped to take in the ocean views over Playa Roja, a red sand beach unique to the area. So at our first beach stop, it is La Playa Mina and we've just been told that here they actually found some fossils that link to some similar fossils that have been found in Africa. So it proves that these places used to be joined once upon a time. 
which is quite crazy because we're on the west side of South America and on the map Africa's over on the other side. Pretty crazy. I've also seen a dolphin jump out the water so we're on dolphin watch at the moment but I doubt we're going to be able to get one on film. Um, but yeah it's really beautiful here. Yeah it's just amazing seeing the colours of the desert meeting the water and we were just at before a viewpoint of uh, red beach which is unique to that part of Peru. It's the only red beach I'm guessing just because of the colours of the rocks making the sand colour. Mm -hmm. Who knows? We don't really know. We're just making it up. Now it's time for a stop off at lunch by the waterfront and we've gone for classic ceviche for starters and look at the amazing view we have. We've finished our tours um, and we're back in Caracas. There's not really much to do here. There's a load of tax shops and there's a load of restaurants as well. Um, we're going to go and eat in one later as the sunset goes down and probably take advantage of happy hour as well. Um, we are however really glad that we came up this way. Um, coming from Cusco you've got two options, you can either come up the coast, you can go for the Andes which is quite dangerous, a lot of buses get stopped and things get stolen, um, or you can get a flight to Cusco but I'm really glad we didn't ignore these little places because although there's not much to do in it, what is to do is quite spectacular and I'm glad I've seen it. As the sun set on our day in Paracas, we made the most of happy hour. What is it? <laughs> we got stuck into the typical menu del dia and Gemma made a new friend. After our short stay in Paracas, we headed to our final destination in South America, which was Lima. That is coming up next. So please like and subscribe and we'll see you next week.